Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and in today's video I thought we would do some nail art using the new Kiki London sculpting gel. So the sculpting gel has been out a little while now so it's not super new but there might be a few of you who are not yet aware of it or not yet aware of some of the nail art that you can do with it. So first of all I thought I would show you guys the products that we're going to be using today. So I'm going to be using RB01 as my base coat for most of the designs and then we're going to be using the milky white and crystal clear sculpting gel along with a couple of colors from the new spring pastels collection so we have aqua waves and peachy nude i do feel as though these two colors will go beautifully together i did want to add in some sparkles to this design so we're going to be using vip gold as well as some of the gold platinum flakes and of course i wanted this design to look super shiny so i'm going to be using the new crystal top coat now let's jump in and begin with a applying our rubber base coat. Now the rubber base coat is slightly thicker than your regular base coat. Now I love this because I find it just gives brilliant adhesion. It's great for anyone who's got weak or brittle nails or anyone who struggles a little bit with keeping their nails on. Now it does come in a variety of colors as well as clear as well. Now of course you would do all your prep if you was doing this on yourself or a client before applying your base coat but because I was working on tips I've jumped straight in to applying that base coat and I went for RB01 because we're going to be doing a milky design on this now and one of the other nails so I thought as though it would pair beautifully with the milky white sculpting gel now for this design I'm going to come in with a base layer of sculpting gel to begin with and just apply a thin coat of this to the entire nail so I would do this if I was working on myself or if I was extending the nail I would sculpt the free edge with this here or if you're using tips I'd apply my tips my rubber base coat and then that thin layer of sculpting gel this is just giving you a really good base to sandwich sorry to do your nail art on top of but then to sandwich your nail art in between those two layers of sculpting gel so once we had cured that first coat of sculpting gel on this particular design I kind of wanted to have I wanted it to have a layered look so we're going to come in around the edges and apply some of the VIP gold using the detail brush and I'm going to apply this quite roughly I don't want it to look like a perfect circle sort of shape so we're coming in and just applying it nice and thin spreading out those glitter pieces i love this one because it has a mix of fine and chunky gold glitter pieces in there as well so it's beautiful for a layered look and then i'm just gently diffusing around the edges just so that it doesn't it's got this wavy effect and doesn't look too sharp and straight and then whilst that vip gold is still wet so we've not popped it into cure yet i'm going to tap on a few of the platinum flakes using that same detail brush and because it's got a little bit of the vip VIP gold gel left on the brush is going to pick up those flakes nice and easy. I did take a few of them out of the pot and just pop them down on my palette just so I could select the sort of sizes that I want to use. I didn't want to add on too many of larger shaped flakes because I didn't want to cover up too much of that glitter. So in certain areas I want some larger flakes and then in some areas I want some smaller ones. We're going to go over the edge of the glitter and just go all around and it's going to give a really beautiful layered look. Now this whole design is about creating layers so throughout the video there'll be times when you might look at the design and think oh my god but I hope at the end it all comes together and you like the finished result. So for our next step we're going to come over with another thin coat of that milky white sculpting gel to create a bit of depth kind of hide some of that glitter and some of those gold flakes and create this hidden milky look it kind of similar to do you remember when milk bath nails were trending so it's kind of got a similar vibe to that and then once we've done that layout we're going to pop that in secure for 60 seconds now you want to keep your layers nice and thin because you don't want to cover up too much of each part of the design that you're doing but with the sculpting gel you are going to be building up your strength and structure with it as well so if you keep your layers nice and thin but then at the end your nail is quite thin and weak when it comes to encapsulating that's when you're going to build up your strength and structure anyway now over the top of the second layer of sculpting gel that we just did there I'm going to tap on a little bit more glitter and a few more gold flakes but not going all around the edges like we did on that first layer because we want to create that dimensional look we want to still be able to see those hidden ones underneath and then the recent ones on the surface now that we're finished with this part of the design we're going to come in and encapsulate so on this now I'm going to encapsulate with one large ball of gel so I'm picking up quite a large ball of gel 
running it off my brush using a circular motion right down at that cuticle area so i'm literally just wriggling my brush and the gel will start moving from your brush onto the nail and then i'm just using a circular and a pulling motion i'm either going side to side or pulling it down the nail and i'm just making sure that i'm encapsulating the entire nail now as you can see the sculpting gel moves absolutely effortlessly you're so easy able to guide it with the brush and i am tilting the nail down because this is what I would do if I was working on myself or a client I would tilt that now downwards so that none of the product runs back into the cuticle area now at this point this now is fully encapsulated I'm happy that I've built up my apex and a lot of that structure and strength is in the back third of the nail and running it down the spine of the nail if you felt as though you were working on a long nail for example and needed more strength and structure you could come in and add on a little bit more gel once you have cured your encapsulation layer wiped off that tacky layer with a little bit of alcohol you're ready to come in and file now because we're working on a display tip filing is a little bit difficult i find i find it a lot easier to file when i'm working on myself or a client but basically what i like to do when i'm filing is i'll start with the 100 grit side of the file sharpen up those side walls come round and remove any excess product or any lumps or bumps then i'll switch to the 180 side and just refine around that apex area around the cuticle area refine those sides and make sure I'm happy with the shape and then I always come over and do the similar routine but with my buffer starting off with 100 grit side and then the 180 grit side as this helps get out any scratches that might have been left behind from filing then I've got to make you need to make sure then to remove any dust that is left behind because you do not want any dust to ruin your final image and then to finish off the layered look in this design over the top of those encapsulated flakes and glitters I want to add add on some cute super simple dotted flowers so i'm taking a large dotting tool for this and as you can see i'm just using i'm dotting once into my gel polish and then doing one dot with that gel polish this is going to make sure that your dot stays the same size if you go into your gel polish and do one dot and then a second dot that second dot will be slightly smaller so if you're wanting a consistent size dot then make sure you're adding on the same amount of gel polish but as you can see these are super easy i am not very good at hand painting so florals like this are more my kind of vibe but i thought it looked super cute adding those spring pastel shades over the layered flakes and the milky look obviously that now is looking a little bit matte from all the filing and buffing so we're going to come in with the crystal top coat and bring that shine back to life the new crystal top coat does require a 60 second cure in an led lamp but this was the finished result and i really loved how the depth you get from this design by having those hidden flakes and glitters underneath and then more gl glitters on the surface but then on the very very surface you've got those florals it just creates a really fun look I especially love layered nail art so onto the second now I've already done my first coat of base coat applying it exactly the same way I did on the first now and then similar to what we did before we're going to come in with our first layer of sculpting gel so that we've got that really nice base to work on top of so like I said this is where you would if you was working on a natural nail and wanted to extend it you would extend it with this layer so you'd apply your sculpting form and extend or you'd apply your tip and extend or if you were just doing an overlay you'd do it exactly like we've done here so I did that first coat and I cured that for 60 seconds and then on this now I wanted to experiment with kind of like a quartzy marble effect so it's a bit different to how I normally do my marbles and I liked how the effect turned out but it was a little bit different to what I had in mind but that's one of the amazing things about Nala all the experiment is always fun so what we've done in on this layer is instead of curing that second layer of sculpting gel that we put down i'm running these colors through it and i want it to look quite messy i wanted the colors to kind of merge and blend together i didn't want any super defined lines and because we're applying it into the wet sculpting gel it is going to blend and mix with that sculpting gel a little bit so the lines are going to soften it's going to have a little bit of a similar effect to blooming gel but it's not going to bloom as much and then this is going to be hidden so it's going to have that hidden effect like the previous now so you're not actually going to see this layer too much so i don't want to stress too much about how perfect it looks i just want some color and some glitters down so i'm going to go in and now again with that vip gold and just kind of swirl it around in random places 
like I said, I was kind of trying to go for that rose quartzy kind of look, but with colors rather than just sticking with the pink. So it was a little bit different. Then we're going to tap on some of the gold flakes because I really love how when you come over the top of these with the second layer of the sculpting gel, they kind of give off a bit of a peachy bronzy tone. And I really loved how that works with the two colors that we're using here as well. So here I'm just messing about, adding a little bit more color. It looks quite random at this point and this is what I was saying where a lot of these layered designs are very much trust the process you can't really judge how they're going to look until the finished result which can be a little bit scary especially when you're working on somebody else so we then popped those that marble effect in to cure for 30 seconds and then we're coming over the top with another thin layer of that milky white keeping it nice and thin because this is still quite a pigmented shade although it's a milky white it's quite a pigmented milky white so we don't want to cover up everything too much and we also don't really want to build, be building up too much thickness because we want to come in and encapsulate so I've done a thin layer over the top and as you can see everything's toned down it looks a lot more softer then once we pop that into cure, we're kind of going to do the similar effect, but this time with the blooming gel, because this layer isn't going to be covered up with that milky layer. So I'm taking my Kiki London blooming gel. You guys would have seen me using this loads of times. You guys know how much I love a blooming gel marble. So we're going to come over the top, apply a thin coat of that. And with your blooming gel, you do leave it wet. And then we're going to do similar as what we did on the previous layer, but into that clear blooming gel. But I don't want to add on too much. So I'm trying to kind of not go directly over where the colors are on the layer underneath because we don't want to fully cover up that effect but i want to add on a little bit more and obviously this is still going to be quite soft because it's going into the blooming gel and blooming gel waters down the colors a little bit makes everything bloom and soften so it's going to still look quite soft but the colors are going to look slightly more vibrant than those underneath because they're not going to have that milky layer over the top so i'm just coming in here and there adding on a little bit of color where i feel it needs and this is where if this was using say two different pinks you'd create more of a rose quartz look but because we're using a blue and a pink it just creates more of a random gemstone effect <laughs> then of course we need to add on some glitter so i'm just taking a little bit of vip gold here and there and kind of trying to pull out sections of the marble look where i can create these glittery effects and look get that look that gemstone look it's really hard to describe but where you're going to have sections that look kind of crystallized so that's what i was trying to do here so i'm just using my stripe liner brush for this and i'm trying to pick up a little bit at a time you want to have your brush quite loaded with glitter gel polish when you are trying to do it for nail art because you do need to distribute it around but you don't want to have too much on your brush that you end up with too much on your design because at this point if you wanted to remove some of the glitter you'd end up removing all of that marble design as well and then sticking with that brush that's got just a little bit of glitter gel left on there that's going to keep it tacky enough that we can pick up some gold flakes and add them in and i want to add these wherever i've added the glitter so it doesn't look too random and the whole design ties together and then once again, once those are in place, we're going to pop this in to cure for 30 seconds because that's going to set them down in place and then they're not going to move around or come off when it comes to encapsulating with the clear. Now, ideally, if you are encapsulating with clear, you want to have a separate clear for any kind of glitter or nail art designs because you will get the odd piece of glitter flake that hasn't fully stuck down and ends up in your crystal clear gel. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Now on this design, I thought I'd show you guys, if you're not confident sculpting or encapsulating with one large ball of gel, you can do it with smaller balls. So on this one, I've picked up my first ball of gel and I know that it's not enough to encapsulate the entire nail. So I'm just focusing on encapsulating that cuticle area and building up the apex area. Now we don't need to build up a super large apex because this would be effectively like an overlay on a natural nail. But of course, if you was working on a sculpted extension or a tipped extension, you'd want to build up a little bit more of an apex so that there's more structure there now when it comes to applying that second ball of gel you're going to apply it so it meets your first ball of gel so when i placed it down on the nail it melted in to that first ball of gel and then you just want to keep working with it down the nail the same way as before now here you'll see i'm just kind of trying to pull that gel so that the tip is a little bit neater don't be afraid to play around with your gel a little bit and maneuver it to where you want it to go it is a thicker consistency product too 
a builder gel in a bottle so you do have to work it a little bit more it doesn't self level as quickly however you can still hold the nail upside down to help it self level and pull in to the center of the nail if you're needing that but if at any point your application especially if you are practicing with sculpting gel or you are new to sculpting gel and your overall nail is quite uneven or it's got lumps in areas you don't want lumps don't worry because you can fix that with your file when you cut obviously you want your application to be as neat as possible to minimize the amount of filing but as a beginner don't stress if your application is uneven because it is fixable with the file and the amazing thing about the sculpting gel is it does file absolutely effortlessly it's not like one of these products where you're going to be there for hours hand filing away so we did come in and top coat there and i wasn't 100 percent happy with how the marble looked but i did feel still think it looked quite pretty on to the next design this is the design that i've seen done by one of the other kiki london ambassadors vit art vit art is her name on instagram she done this beautiful french look where the tip was encapsulated with glitters but the nail bed area was gel polish so I wanted to give it a go and I'm not 100% sure if this is how she done the look or if, if there's an easier way of doing this look but I had a lot of fun doing it this way and it was quite easy to do so I popped down a layer of clear rubber base then my thin layer of clear sculpting gel so we've got that nice strong base to work on top of then I'm coming in and I'm applying my glitter down at the tip of the nail I'm not creating the French shape here but I'm applying it where you're going to see that French tip. So I've applied VIP Gold using my round nail art brush and took it down far enough that I know confidently that when I come in and paint on the nail bed area, I'm gonna be able to get that French coming through. Then on top of that wet VIP Gold, we tapped on the flakes to help give that really pretty layered look. And then we're gonna fully encapsulate this in, build up our strength and structure, with crystal clear so i'm starting off i'm going to do this with two balls like i did on the previous nail so i'm going to come in with that first ball of gel leaving a lot of this in that back third as you can see it's still quite a large ball of gel but unlike the first nail where we'd built up a lot of our layers with the milky white this nail hasn't really been built up at all so we need to build up all of that strength and structure so that it's the same thickness as the previous nails so I'm leaving a lot of that product into the back third and as well a lot of that product running down the center spine of the nail but making sure there is enough thickness there at those side walls and then I've took that pretty much three quarters of the way down the nail and I just need a little bit more gel to make sure that tip is fully encapsulated so that we don't file off any of those glitters or flakes and also fully fully built up so that there's enough strength and structure so that if you was wearing this on your own nails you wouldn't get any breakages at that tip point so now that that nail has been fully cured we're going to wipe away that tacky inhibition layer don't worry if at this point your crystal clear looks a little bit dull it's just where you've removed that tacky layer and it makes it look a little bit matte this will be brought back when you come in and top coat so then we're going to file same as before i'm just making sure that everything's nice and smooth all of the side walls are contoured nicely there's not a bulky cuticle area but then you do want to be careful when you're filing around that cuticle area that you don't don't remove too much gel because you don't want to remove the strength and structure that you have built up if you feel as though you're going to over file then use the 180 grit side of your hand file rather than the 100 grit because the 100 grit is that bit coarser so it will file things down a lot quicker and then again just coming in using both sides of that buffer to remove any of those deeper scratches that are left behind from filing and then we're going to paint on our nail bed using a peachy nude now this is is I'm going to flip the nail around and obviously this would be a little bit trickier to do on a client you would still be able to use this technique but if I was doing this on myself or a client I think I would do it with the round nail art brush rather than the bottle brush just if in case you're working on a smaller nail and you need a little bit more control of the product so I've created majority of that shape just using the bottle brush but then we're going to neaten it up using the stripe liner brush and the round nail art brush so I'm coming in with the stripe liner brush just to try and get a neater smile line now, like I said, I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do this, but I didn't actually find this too hard. So I'm gonna come in with a stripe liner brush and just create that curve shape, trying to get it as symmetrical as possible and as neat as possible. But then I'm gonna take my round nail art brush with a little bit of alcohol and use this to carve out that smile line shape and create a really nice crisp smile line making it look as neat as possible. And I sometimes find that it's easier to get a neat shape like this 
by cleaning up than actually painting it on. So once we'd cured that for 30 seconds, we're gonna come in and do a second coat. Second coat is always that bit easier because you've created the shape. So don't stress too much if it takes you a little bit longer on that first coat to get a really nice, neat shape. Because when it comes to doing the second coat, you'll be a lot quicker because you've already got that shape created and you're just coming over the top. So I just painted on Peachy Nude for that second coat and I really loved how this color looked with the, the gold tip like the pink and the gold just looked absolutely beautiful and I love this shade because it's just a little bit of everything it's a little bit peach it's a little bit nude and it's a little bit pink so here I'm just coming in with my striped liner brush just touching up a few areas and again you can come in with your round nail up brush if you do make any mistakes I want to clean up and just make it look super sharp so I still did this step and then when we have done that we're ready to put this in for a final cure and that is this now finished of course at this point you do still need to top coat so your glitter is looking quite dull and I love this step especially with the crystal top coat where you come in over the top and it just brings back all the life back to that glitter and it looks gorgeous and sparkly and the crystal top coat and the crystal clear sculpting gel are just a winning combination for that beautiful clarity and I really love how the effect you get on this tip by adding the glitters and the flakes together so this was the finished look I thought they looked super cute and you could easily pair these with two plain colored nails so you could do a plain aqua waves and a plain peachy nude and it would tie the whole set in without having to do five nails of nail art if you did enjoy today's video please do give it a thumbs up leave us a comment below and hit that subscription button if you haven't already I hope you all have a wonderful weekend thank you all so much for watching lots of love take care bye bye